live in Texas and I've just taken a 120 mile ride on my FJR north of Austin. Central Texas and uh, the reason I came up here is to see this what this here is is uh, a uh, rocket test stand uh, this was uh, used in the Cold War by the Navy I'm standing on what was a, a big Navy installation and uh, when the Cold War ended the rocket test uh, stand was retired and it was uh, Kind of reactivated by a fellow named Elon Musk who uh, started PayPal and when he sold PayPal for a bazillion dollars he started his own space exploration company called Space Exploration Inc or SpaceX and I hope you can see the uh, the logo up there on the tower SpaceX is a wonderful company uh, they've been developing a, a, an orbital rocket system it's a expendable booster thing but it's a lot cheaper than uh, than competing rockets. Uh, they have one on uh, Cape Canaveral now. Uh, they have a contract with NASA. They're going to actually uh, build building a, uh, a capsule that can carry cargo and people to the International Space Station. And they're actually going to fly the uh, uh, this capsule on this rocket that's down there at Cape Canaveral now. Uh, uh, every now and then they do fire a rocket out here. Uh, once they fired, according to the newspapers, they have a, a big booster that has nine rocket engines. They developed their own engine. Uh, their own liquid fuel engine and they fired nine of them on this test stand at once and it scared the bejesus out of everybody within a 50 mile radius because I guess it made a, a pretty big noise uh, you can there's stuff going on I don't know if you can hear it or not but this is you can tell this is like an active site because I hear valves opening and closing and and uh, hissing and pump moaning and pumping going on even though it's uh, late Sunday afternoon it's about uh, 5 p.m. on Sunday I'll take the camera off, try to hold it stay as I can, and give you a little look around. Uh, there's the guardhouse over there. I was afraid he might might come and want to harag me, but he's not. He's just looking at me. And there's the SpaceX uh, uh, main uh, rocket stand, and here's another gantry of some kind. Uh, and you can see some of the uh, tanks and plumbing used for their... Uh, uh, I'm sure for that, but they liquid fuel things. Look at this trailer here. Is that not a long trailer? Look at that trailer. Good grief, that thing must be over 100 feet long. You think, I guess they carry their boosters down here or something with that. They also got something long that goes on that. That is awesome. Uh, just looking around here, here come some good old boys on there. This is something you might not see every day. These fellows are hunters. And they put these uh, platforms on their pickup trucks so that they can uh, terrorize Bambi even better. And as a motorcycle rider, I'm all in favor of terrorizing Bambi. I don't know how well this is going to show up. But over here on this side is a uh, weapon storage facility. I don't believe it's used anymore. If you look on the map, this is called the Naval Reserve Ordnance Depot or something like that. Uh, as I was driving in here, there's a lot of old abandoned buildings, a big complicated factory looking structures that aren't being used anymore. And out there you can see bunkers. If you look at this on the satellite on the aerial on the satellite maps on Bing, they fuzz this area out that I'm standing in, but Google shows it quite clearly. Uh, so I don't know what they whether these bunkers are in use or not anymore. Well I tell you what, driving down this road I'm on. With the sun where that black dot is, man, it was blinding. It was really hard. It's nothing worse than driving right into the sun on a motorcycle. Uh, well, this is Jim in Texas. So that's uh, my visit to SpaceX. And I'm, okay, this is Jim in Texas. And I'm still at SpaceX. I thought I'd talk a little about the FJR since I'm still pretty new to it. Uh, the good news I'm happy to report is I'm getting a lot more confident and slow speed maneuvering and parking lock, parking it and kind of getting on and off of it. And uh, I'm still, I've got to be very respectful of the 650 pound weight and the fairly high center gravity of the seven gallon tank, up pretty high. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. it uh, the forward lean on the stock uh, handlebars is a little more forward than I'd like. I had to, 
the dealer these handlebars have uh, three positions they can move forward or back there's three little notches I had to move it to the aftmost position and that helped but I definitely gonna want bar risers in the fullness of time um, and other than that I can say it's smooth very very comfortable gives you a lot of confidence uh, you, you feel like you get, to get kind of a king of the road feeling on this I, I must admit to being a pretty baby it was a pretty baby it seemed kind of chilly to me riding up here I still haven't got the wiring for my electric vest in uh, it's uh, 63 degrees right now according to the thermometer on the bike <laughs> and I'm a little chilly uh, you know maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, somebody like Laura Jennifer or Bilma or uh, Malachi 7, one of those fellows who are serious about the polar bear, I know they're, they're saying you're pretty weak, Jim, and when it comes to cold weather, you're right. A security golf cart, I thought he might be coming over here, but he's going over there, wherever there is. Lots more structures and stuff down there that uh, are fenced off. Well, this is Jim. I live in Texas, and I'm at the SpaceX uh, facility near uh, McGregor, Texas. I'm looking at an, some sort of abandoned facility. This is on the site of the former uh, Naval Reserve uh, weapon storage area west of McGregor, Texas. And it's some sort of a processing plant for something. What I have no idea. Uh, there's still a few. Uh, I think some of these buildings are still being used all around the back. There's some trucks parked that look, you know, do not look abandoned. But uh, who knows what this facility was for in the glory days of the Cold War when uh, a lot of people worked here. Uh, this parking lot looks like it would park, uh, you know, 100 or 120 cars. Uh, this is Jim. I'm in Texas, uh, west of McGregor, Texas.